How would I describe Madeline? She's kind of like an idiot savant, in my opinion. And my favorite one is her talking about when she got an overzealous eyebrow pluck. She's like, I looked surprised for a week. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I plucked outside of my designated brow line? Man, was my face red. I've done that too. Ooh, it's bad. She was being sarcastic. Well, I wasn't. I looked surprised for a month. She's kind of in her own world, and uh, she loves to play. Um, and she loves to play make-believe. Like, she loves everything French. Uh, she loves to uh, make out with boys. She's not like any other character that I've ever played in my entire life. We usually play, play a lot of like intense characters and maybe dark and tortured characters and maybe like, you know, emotional stuff. Uh, but she, I just, I loved her. I really feel grateful because I feel like it was my first uh, acting job and I was also part of that Gilmore Girls family uh, for, uh, since the start of it. My favorite scenes to do. I really liked shooting with Ed Herman. Uh, he was a really sweet man. But I think the best one was um, was the uh, the Bengals episode because we got to just do so much, have so much fun. Okay, here's the deal. Take your tickets, go to your seats, have the night of a lifetime, bangle it up. The second the concert is over, meet us outside in front of the theater. Got it? Yes. Good, now go. Also, the spring break episode. Um, it's a real tie between those two. I mean, we got to watch the Shins play uh, for us. It was just like this party. <laughs> Week-long party. It was so much fun. And it was bittersweet too because that was the last episode and I, I, I knew that that was going to be our last episode. It was a perfect send off uh, for us. I think my favorite person to ever be on that show was Melissa McCarthy. She was the per kind of person that would you'd see at the uh, craft service table and she'd be like, oh my God, how have you been? I haven't talked to you in so long. What's going on? How's your boyfriend? Blah, 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 blah. You know, like just somebody who takes a, just a real interest in, in everybody that she meets and is a kind person and wants to just get to know you and talk about the things that you've been doing since she's seen you last. And she's a really nice and generous person. And she's hilarious, obviously. Fan response, um, very positive. It's always been really positive. Um, I don't really get like recognized anymore, but I used to a lot. Every once in a while I do. I get a lot of Instagram messages about how important the show was to them and how it really got them through uh, a dark place in their life, for instance, or it really helped my mother and I connect with each other. I watched it, I, I watched it when I was young and now I'm watching it with my daughter. And um, God, I mean, I, to consider that the show has been such uh, a prolific uh, thing for so many people and has lasted as long as it did and thank God for Netflix, uh, I think speaks volumes about what Amy was trying to do and uh, she did it. She did it really, really well and um, the fans have absolutely loved it. I mean, yeah. And I've never gotten anything negative. I think a lot of people are like, but you were the only one that was nice to Rory during Chilton times. <laughs> And I think my character was, I think Amy wrote that in eventually to kind of make, I don't know, I don't know, but I was glad that she did because it, it, it made me feel like, oh, okay, well, I'm not that much of a mean girl. So, yeah. Why do I think that Gilmore Girls is got such a following and after 20 years, it's still almost as important as it was then? I mean, to the people who love it. I think it's uh, obviously Amy and Dan are great writers um, and creators, but what they did was they made a show. I mean, it was kind of brilliant, love and figuring it out and tripping along the way every, you know, and, and just, yeah, I just think that people feel like it's such a safe, place uh, and it's such a comfort. Now that's a question I would love for somebody to answer why it's such a comfort, but it's just, it is, you know?
what would Madeline be up to today? Uh, she definitely, she and Louise would probably be co-parenting uh, a son named like Lars or something, or some French name probably. And um, and he of course would be like, his. he'd go to private school and he'd be all dressed up, you know, and whatever, but he would be super, um, uh, cultured I think and um yeah I think she'd still be living her fabulous life you know I mean I don't think that Madeline really gets upset about much of anything she just kind of rolls with everything and I think that she'd just be living her version of a fabulous life <laughs>